on the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. First it was too cold, now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too, it's a right swamp, I tell you. Say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated him. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you will help the others to prepare. Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait, to scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, or he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Wait your signal. There, in front of us. Kill them!
could anyone call this forest home? It's all mud. The French push back, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. Have served, you mean. Sir, you are... Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! I don't deserve this! You're a hypocrite, Haytham! <sighs> Why, Haytham? Your death opens the door. Nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. upheld my part of the bargain, I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. No. No! You seem disappointed. 
I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please, sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the sight eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Sleuth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles. Come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together. We will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father of Understanding, of understanding guide, us. Guide, us. guide us. Wait, what? You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. 
I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but it turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <clears throat> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus.